matter. The state of Tennessee is taking its fight against opioids to another level, now investing tens of millions of dollars to help communities that need it most. The state is giving $81 million to communities and organizations so they can fight opioid addictions. It comes from settlement money in lawsuits related to the opioid crisis. East Tennessee organizations are aiming to use the money to treat more people. Our John Piersos reports. For some people, the opioid crisis is personal. Connor was one of the most loyal kids you would ever know. Mike Stauffenberg's son Connor died last year at 20 years old because of an overdose. State data shows drug overdose deaths have been rising since 2018 with nearly 4,000 Tennesseans dying in 2021 and 2022. Data shows that opioids and fentanyl are big reasons why. Nobody really recognizes how big a problem it is. It does affect anybody and everybody. Now, Tennessee is trying to prevent overdose deaths from happening. The state's Opioid Abatement Council is distributing about $81 million to over 100 organizations across the state to fight the opioid crisis. The money comes from lawsuit settlements with companies connected to opioids. Leaders from the Knox County McNabb Center say they're getting nearly $9 million over the next three years. When people are in need of detox and treatment services, they need it then. Jennifer Muse Hill says the problem is they don't have enough space to meet the demand. She says it can take up to two and a half months to get a spot at its residential treatment services. Muse Hill says the funding will allow them to expand from 47 to 72 beds at its treatment center. It will allow us to transition those who come in for detox services into longer term uh, treatment and care. And it will also allow us to serve more individuals when they need it up front. The goal is to prevent more cases like Connor. People that think their family is immune they're wrong. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Number of East Tennessee organizations are getting funding as well, like the Metro Drug Coalition, Knoxville Leadership Foundation, the Knoxville YWCA, and several others.